What's up, family? Another chapter in the book of Fallen Angels. The end of black celebrities and Hollywood. Now, like I said before, we're taking a look at all of the different changes that are taking place in the industry, which are giving us signs of what's happening. Now, we know recently Shannon Sharp just finished dealing with a situation of a home invasion in which the robbers took a million dollars worth of merchandise. But I know a lot of people are not into sports, but this is a show I watch every single day. And a lot of times I watch it right after I finish doing my lives or sometime I'll be watching it when I'm doing a live. The show starts at 930. Long story short, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp is now over. Shannon Sharp has taken a buyout and he is leaving the show. I don't know if he's leaving Fox Sports 1 as a whole, but just to make it clear, Shannon Sharp already has his own podcast called Club Shay Shay and has been doing very well. He has a nice catalog. He has a lot of interviews with top-notch celebrities and he's good. But the thing is, <clears throat> Shannon Sharp took a lot of uh he took a lot of drama and disrespect on this show. Skip Bayless disrespected him a lot. Shannon Sharp is a Hall of Famer from the NFL. And a lot of times Skip Bayless would take shots at him and try to undermine him and disrespect his achievements by calling him a so-called Hall of Famer. And for those who watch the show, y'all already know. But for those that don't know, Skip Bayless gets super angry in any discussion about Tom Brady. And they had a lot of arguments about Tom Brady. Well, Shannon Sharp is a LeBron James lover. And Skip Bayless is a Tom Brady lover. And they always had arguments about who's the GOAT, this, that, and the third. But I have saw live TV where they screamed on each other and it was for real. Like, that's what I always liked about this show. It was always real. And I saw them many a times going at each other neck and giving low blows. And I also could tell Shannon Sharp was getting tired of it because Shannon Sharp was always taking shots and people was calling him a coon, a sellout. And also on that show, whenever it was certain topics that dealt with black people or whatever, they would always refer to Shannon Sharp. So I'm going to say to a small extent, he had to be like the token on the show. But it's over now. And another thing I want to point out, something I was speaking about earlier on how sometimes you got to work a job to get where you got to go. Because Shannon Sharp, he worked for Fox Sports, but he was on the show because of Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless handpicked Shannon Sharp personally and brought him to uh, Fox Sports 1. A couple years ago, we know ESPN was the top show, you know, the top network. Skip Bayless started on first take with Stephen A. Smith. But Skip Bayless did not renew his contract. He was offered a bigger bag from Fox. And ever since he got that big bag, he offered Shannon to come with him. But another thing you got to peep about this whole show, Skip Bayless already knew he couldn't do this show on his own. And with all these topics and certain things going on, sometimes it's better to, to debate with a black person. And my point is this, if he didn't have a black person on the show, it would not have been as much intriguing and Skip Bayless would not be known in a lot of black households. But even though he's known from ESPN with Stephen A, I'm just saying what kept him going to another level was Shannon Sharp, because a lot of the uh, athletes, they love Shannon Sharp. They call him up. But anyway, Shannon Sharp got tired of taking Skip Bayless shit and he is now gone. So therefore... The show Undisputed is now over. Shannon Sharp reportedly leaving Fox Undisputed after seven years with Skip Bayless. Another thing we can look at how fast seven years go. I remember when they just started this show in 2016. That's how fast seven years go. But it also shows you everybody got to make changes in their life. Everybody has to elevate. Everybody has to uh, do certain things to get to the next level. And also... We can say that Shannon Sharp felt like 
he had to keep his moral morals and principles in order and he said f that show so salute to shannon sharp also don't forget so funny things going on with shannon sharp his house got broken into then about a month before that it was a man suspiciously recording him at the airport so i don't know what's going on but i know one thing i'm gonna be paying attention so let that be known that sometimes you got to grind to get where you got to go and sometimes you got to ease your head out the lion's mouth because shannon sharp been tired of skip brothers but he dealt with them for that money and plus it's called a contract but once again we see all money and good money and this is also another sign that hollywood is coming to an end and shout out to shannon sharp for uh starting his own thing his own business his own brand and club shay shay the podcast is doing good i advise y'all check it out very good interviews other than that i'm for no fame it's another chapter in fallen angels and i'm out one